I'm gonna need some help. I'm gonna need somebody to to help me figure this out. So I'm gonna need you guys to follow along, okay? So obviously, we're waiting on news before lock for our NBA festivities, correct? Okay. You get we got a lot of news. Um, got Clay Thompson out. Got Bam Bam out of bio out. Um, we got somebody else out. I can't remember. I can't think right now. So we we got a few news. We got a little bit of news. And what do we do with the news? What did I tell you about? What I what did I what did I explain to you in last night in yesterday's video? Pay attention to news. Make the pivots that you need to make. Your lineup is built right before lock. Right? Okay. Bam out of bio is a big piece. Okay. What did some of y'all do? Put in placeholders for later games so that you could get the Miami news so you could see see who to play. Obviously if Thomas Bryan is starting at four K on DK, he's a decent play. Not the not the end all be all, but he's decent, right? Okay, cool. Who else looks good? Kevin Love, right? Okay, cool. So, you know, Kevin Love looks good. Thomas Bryan looks good. Not the greatest place in the world, but their value, they look good. There's no Bam Adebayo. A lot of rebounds to go around, right? Right. It's a seven-point game in the fourth quarter. Why the fuck are the Miami starters sitting on the bench handing out towels? That's what I need somebody to explain to me. It's a seven-point game. Jimmy's on the bench, Thomas Bryant's on the bench, Kevin Love's on the bench. The only starter playing is Tyler Hero. They got a bunch of fucking scrubs playing in a nine-point game in the fourth quarter against the fucking Bucks. I need somebody to explain to me what's going on right now. That's what I need. That's what I need somebody to explain to me. If you think the NBA... I'm not even going to go into that right now. I just need somebody to explain what's going on with the Miami Heat. If somebody can explain that to me, I'll be. I, it'll be very lovely. Let's get on with this video, because the NBA you can't even get mad. It's like um, it's comedy. It's like a joke. You know what I'm saying? Let's get into this video. It's gonna be a, a DraftKings only video because FanDuel won't load. FanDuel's been acting like dog shit all night. And I don't got no more. I don't have any more time to waste waiting around for FanDuel to act normal. So it's just going to be a DraftKings video. This video, this video is brought to you by your friends over at Thrive Fantasy. Play a prop website where you can play against the house or play against other con. Oh, what the fuck? I can't even talk. This video is brought to you by our friends over at Thrive Fantasy. Play a prop website where you can play against the house or other plays in contest format. You got Dame Dollar. Dame Dollar. Oh my God. It's gonna be a long it's fucking two 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 game slate. I can't even fucking do this shit. Donovan Mitchell, twenty eight and a half total points. If you choose over, you get ninety five points. If you choose under, you get hundred and five points. We got Jalen Brunson over under four and a half total assists. If you choose over, you get eighty points. If you choose under, you get hundred and twenty points. Um you do get a deposit match up to two fifty. If you use my promo code DFS Chapo, or you can use the link that's in my description. Let's go to DraftKings. Um, now, yeah, I'm in a mood. That doesn't mean that I'm not cashing. I'm cashing at the moment. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to hold it, though, because of Thomas Bryant, Kevin Love. But I got a bunch of. I got a bunch of shit in the works, so we'll see. I wouldn't. I'm not gonna know until the end of the night, but it's just the NBA moves so fucking. What's the word I'm looking for? They really move like a thief in the night. It doesn't make any sense. All right, let's start with DraftKings. Let's start with point guard Booker. Nine point five. Is he healthy? Is he not healthy? I don't fucking know. Let's see what it says. Booker is doubtful for Tuesday, so he's not playing. Fuck him. Get the fuck out of here. Westbrook at 7-1 is fine on a short slate. Fultz is fine. Sohan is fine. Cole Anthony is fine. Trey Jones is fine off the bench, believe it or not. Goodwin, um, he's in play. You can take a shot on Suggs. You, Powell, 
Bones Highland on short slates. Everything matters. Um, Paul George is a bit cheap for his upside, 8.6. Vassal is fine. Eric Gordon looks good. Everybody's going to play Eric Gordon. He's probably going to fucking shit his fucking pants. That's how this shit goes. Grayson Allen's in play. Um, I know that, um, nah, never mind. Grayson Allen's fine. I was going to say that the optimizers love Grayson Allen last, last couple nights with this short, um, with this short team, but, um, he's fine. That's about it. I don't, I'm not going to, I'm not doing anything under, um, Grayson Allen to be honest with you. Um, Kawhi 8.5 is fine. Franz Wagner is fine. Kelvin Johnson is okay. Josh Okogie is in play. Jetty, if you're desperate. I keep my play for real tight. So, you know, I know, I know, I know some of you guys, you watch these shows and they tell you, you know, you could play Amir Coffee and you could play fucking Doug McDermott. Listen, I don't do that shit. I keep my player pool nice and tight. I play I play players that I know are gonna get at least 18, 18 minutes minimum, twenty minutes minimum. That's how I play. Um I've been playing that playing like that for the last five, six, six years. I haven't had a nine to five. I haven't had a nine to five job last like since the pandemic. You know. And if I did, if I did have a nine to five job, it was only for a few weeks because I was bored. I've been living off this shit for years, so you could play it how I play it. You could play how you want to play it. You could do what you want to do. You could watch Stotastic or Stochastic or Awesomeo or whatever the fuck they call themselves and play these fucking bargain basement bums that they tell you to play and never win money. Or you could do it my way. You feel me? Yeah, I got time today. Let's go to fucking power forward. KD, he's going to be popular. You play him. Two games slate, you're going to play Kevin Durant. Not going to say it again. Wemby, 7.9. Listen, by the time we get to the All-Star break, if Popovich lets him fucking play and he stops getting in foul trouble, he'll be a 9, 9.5K nine player. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Bancaro, the rookie phenomenon from last season. He's playing like a bitch. Look at this fucking punk bitch. Three, six shots. Twelve shots. Twenty-seven fantasy points. Thirty-one fantasy points. Twelve points. Bro, I could go into an NBA game, fresh out the hospital, and score more than twelve points. You fucking punk bitch. Listen, I need you to step up. Who else is here? Covington. Covington's another bum. He's washed. You wanna play what you wanna play Covington? You could play him. I don't really fault you on a two game slate. <laughs> this fucking guy's a fucking shadow. He's a fucking he's fucking dust. I'd rather play Mo Wagner. Osman Batum all in play. Jonathan Isaac if you're fucking desperate. Let's go to let's go to center. Let's go to center. All right, who we got here? Nurkic is, is absolutely in play. Most likely be my main lineup. Zach Collins looks amazing. Looking like a double center DraftKings lineup with Nurkic and Collins. Um, like I said, you could take my advice. You could fucking throw my advice out the window. You do what the fuck you want to do. But, you know, I know what I'm talking about. Wendell Carter hasn't been the Gwendol Carter from last year. I'm going to need him to fucking go and retrieve his balls. From last season, because I don't know what the fuck this 22 and 20 fantasy points is going to do for me at 5.7K. He's costing, he's costing us money. Somebody needs to fucking DM him or something, because I, I don't know what the fuck's going on. These fucking guys get paid millions of dollars to dribble a ball, and they can't even do that shit right. Jesus Christ. Fucking Plumley 4.9. Shit. Two game slate. Take a shot. You banks, take a shot. The rest of these bozos, I'm not touching. Okiki, Diabatiti, Me Too, Mamu Mamu, 
Bo Bo. Not touching none of these motherfuckers. Listen to me. Last thing. <clears throat> Once again, this is a DraftKings only video because FanDuel's not loading. If you play FanDuel, you need it's a two-game slate. You guys should you should you you know shouldn't be that crazy. If you do need help, I have no problem helping you. Jump in the chat. I'll get back to you. One of our experts will get back to you. Cause that's what we do. We're a community that helps each other. If you're new here, welcome. Appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. Um, excuse the ranting. Just the Miami Heat has probably cost me money and they got me in a way right now. Once again, the Miami Heat starters are sitting on the fucking bench in a seven in a nine point game in the fourth quarter against the Milwaukee Bucks. Somebody explain that to me. Um if you're not subscribed, subscribe. I'm not asking you to su subscribe, subscribe, because not I'm not in the mood today. Hit the hit the like hit the like button, hit the bell, subscribe, thumbs up, all that good shit. Do all that shit. If you need help with lineups, you want me to build you a lineup, you want my optimal finalized lineups right before lot, check out the Patreon link in the description. That's all I got for you. Two games up, two games down, and Chapo's not in a good mood. Fuck the Heat. Fuck Spolstra. Fuck Pat Riley. Fuck them all. I'm out of here. I'll talk to you guys later. Ciao.